certainly for the press, we thank you very much. Cheryl, I know you're busy. Thank you. Uh, anyway, just one positive thing after another is happening here with uh, Tim Stoyle Center and the Arizona the Sun Dogs. This, my folks, I've known this young man for some 20 years now. He's an extraordinary individual. I started with him in Prescott, Arizona, just giving you a little background, with a place called the Old Prescott Firehouse. How many remember that, Randy? Sure. John? Yeah, Billy? Um, and he was just a young sprout then, but still very, very talented. This is one of the most talented, uh, fun, great chefs that I have ever had the pleasure to meet. He sent me to Branson, though. He got sick of me, and so he sent me to Branson. But uh, it is a pleasure to know this young man. Those that know him around this community know that he's one of the biggest community boosters in our region. He has helped just about every organization, every kids organization, every sports organization. There's nothing that he can't handle. Uh, and we're going to introduce him today because he's, he's going to be a proud member of our team. But to do that, I must introduce the general manager of Tim's Toyota Center because I'll tell you, Mr. Gary Spiker has made some marvelous, marvelous positive changes uh, in this building. Uh, he's always been looking out for the best interest of the community, certainly of this building the Arizona Sun Dogs and everything that goes into this building. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn the microphone over uh, to Mr. Gary Spiker, who really put this whole thing together. So if you will, Mr. Gary Spiker, Gary. Hey, thank you, Lou. Thanks, Lou. And thanks, Press, and everybody for being here, Jim. It looks like you have some friends. Uh, in, in, Just in a couple. House. Yeah, I Just like it. A couple. Anyway, it's our pleasure to introduce a change that we've made at the building uh, with food service. Uh, it's been one of the complaints that we've had. I get two big complaints that we don't have a sign out on the highway and uh, Hopefully we have some news on that and that the food prices are high and the quality could be a little better Well, we've made a change to have Jim Cabral. Gabby's is in here A lot of the folks that work with him are here. His lovely wife Kelly that really does all the work uh, is here. So we, we appreciate Kelly. They have been in here for the past month cleaning getting reorganized, and uh, we, it, it's just going to be fantastic having Jim here. I'm going to let him talk about some of the changes that he is going to make for us. We're looking forward to it. He has a new sweet menu. Uh, I mean, a simple thing is uh, we have beer uh, going to be sold for $4 instead of 6 and $8. Uh, we have well drinks a lot cheaper. Uh, we're going to have a great hamburger special, which is a really good juicy cheeseburger and a whole bucket full of fries and a 32 ounce drink and it's going to be reasonable we're changing how we're doing some things in the suites uh, papa john's is going to be in the building that's really a, a neat thing for you to talk about well anyway could you hit us with some of your changes anyway let's give a big hand of applause for jim cabral and gabby I, I just want to thank everybody for being here and, and thanks uh for tim's giving us the opportunity to, to come in here um, you know we, we noticed a, a bunch of problems that we thought uh, that needed to be a, addressed and one was the pricing I, it's too expensive to come here as a family and um, I have a family I have five kids and uh, it just it's it's tough on the wallet so our goal is to bring those prices down and we've implemented that uh, with, with our great partners at uh, inventors that we have um, working on pricing levels and, and, and such we're trying to make this be a family-oriented place so you can come here and enjoy and not not leave with nothing left in your wallet. Um, we've made a lot of prices. Uh, uh, one of our big changes is, is um, through working with, with uh, Randy Berryman at, at Pepsi, we, we've been able to find a way to find a better price point just on soda pop alone. Where it was four fifty, we're coming down to a $3 price. Um, you do the percentage there. I, I just know you're saving a buck fifty. Um, those are important things to be able to make a, a good event. We believe that the infrastructure to entertainment is food service. Obviously, we believe that. Um, I've probably, if not fed everyone in this room, uh, have fed your kids or something in this community. Uh, we're big community people, uh, and we think that Tim's Toyota Center is a big part of this community. And we think the relationship together will be strong and, and work for many years. Uh, Jim, thanks. Uh, you know we have Sundogs uh, starting up here this uh, Friday. Uh, Chris, we're sure looking forward to that, but I think with the team structure now, uh, with a great, uh, you know, new setup for hockey, I did get to watch the games on uh, Saturday and Sunday. 
Actually, we played a lot better than the score showed on Saturday. Their goalie was just unbeatable. We've had some nights in here where you just can't get anything through the goalie, but we outshot them. We outplayed. Yes, we lost, and the score wasn't good, but we bounced back Sunday. It was a great game. Uh, did go into a overtime, which uh, there were no scoring, and of course we lost in the shootout. Fantastic game, but the way they played, I think we're really ripe for Missouri coming up. Uh, they have an awful good team, but they rose up to the occasion. You know, that goalie was just unreal, but we played a lot better than the score showed. If you got to watch the game, I was excited about how they played. Um, for the folks that have been here watching practices, uh, they're exciting. The folks like Jim that have been here the whole time, uh, we're saying everything looks crisper and cleaner, so we're looking forward to a big crowd here and some help on Friday and Saturday and then, of course, uh, Halloween night. But Jim has probably more jerseys uh, you know, than, than the team does. I think uh, if you go to his restaurants, of course, they're full. If you go to his new restaurant here on Spouse and Robert, uh, you know, it, it's just an awesome place to eat. He did a great job feeding your guys. I showed up the last day and... It's, act, it's some of the best prime rib I've ever had. So, oh, thank you. you know, and, but he takes care of the local teams. You know, he, Jim helps us with the AIA. I don't know if you know it, but when they're off site, he's the guy that feeds them. Uh, actually, when they, and we're glad to have the AIA back in Tim's Toyota for a three year contract. They are very pleased that Gabby's is here to feed them in the building. So there's just a lot that we're looking forward to, to have Gabby's in the building and the staff that he has. Uh, you know, they have a great reputation uh, for being clean and putting out a good product. Uh, we're gonna have a great hot dog. We are, uh, sun dog. Yeah, oh, is, is we call it the sun dog? Well, that's our team. Okay, so we have a sun dog. What else do you have like that? Do you have some, uh, something else in mind? Well, Any kind of desserts or? Yeah, we've taken the existing menu and, and we revamped it. And uh, we, our goal is to start out with, because obviously we have a short amount of time to get ready for the first hockey game. So it was to take the existing things and make them better and more cost effective. And as the season goes, we'll, we'll start implementing some of the things that we already, that, that we do as a catering facility and, and as a restaurant. Hey, Jimmy, what about, uh, what about customer service? I know one of the things that a lot of us have heard about over the last seven years is, uh, you know, I spent a birthday trying to buy a, a burger. Um, what, what, about, uh, what about wines at the concession stands? Well, you know, our goal is, uh, and our philosophy is customer service. That's the number one thing on our list. We don't seem to worry about food because we know how to do that. Um, but what we do worry about is taking care of the people that are here. You have 20 minutes and an intermission. So our goal is to have, you know, uh, five or six registers running and the speed of service. We've, we've changed things. Small things is what changes your line. Um, using a bigger ice scoop to fill your cup, changing your size of cups so there's less verbiage back and forth between you and the customer. Um, it's little things like that that can really speed up the uh, speed of service here. So that, that along with our kiosk people and our vendors, that's our number one priority is to, to change speed of service so people can still grab something to eat and grab something to drink and get back and see the game in time. Do you think you're going to change the culture in uh, Tim's Toyota Center? I think we already have. Um, I, I think coming in with a concept and with high energy and positiveness and it being about the customers, it being about <clears throat> the people and not about ourselves and not about a bottom line, the, things can't be about that. In this economy, you, you have to care about something more than yourself. And when you do that, great things can happen. Um, I'm going to open it up now, Gary, with your permission and Jimmy. Any questions uh, for Mr. Jim Cabral? Uh, this is pretty exciting news, I will tell you. I've been here seven years. This is about the most exciting piece of news because someone um, and all of us have been out in the community. I mean, this is a big, big deal, as Jimmy said. We're coming here to watch a great Sundogs action, but we're bringing a family, and we want to be able to afford uh, something nice to eat and a quality. I remember, Jimmy, talk about value on the plate a little bit. I think that's what you're bringing to Tim's Toyota Center. What is value on the plate, and what does that mean to the customer? Well, you know, we, we don't have to make a lot of money. We, we just have to make money. And I think the way the pricing has been hasn't made it the best value for people. Um, there's no reason you need to be paying $6 for a beer. Uh, we do have to make a profit. We all know that. This is business, and we, we don't just come to work for fun. We do have to make money. But you don't have to 
you don't have to pay for your kids' tuition on every drink. I mean, I, I got to I gotta tell you, um, just it's slow and steady wins the race uh, every single time, and we all know that. We, we all do it in our own, in our own businesses. Um, so we're lowering prices on things, giving them more bang for the buck. And changing the culture, I, I think we already have. We, we've already had some events, and things have gone very well. So, Any, any questions uh, from anybody? Yeah, yeah Ken? Yeah, first of all, because I know about your place in Chino. How long have you been in Chino Valley? And you also have a previous location at the Humboldt Station, too. Right. 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 Town, how, how we've been in Chino. Well, Gabby's been in Chino for 14 years, and I took it over 10 years ago. Uh, three years ago, October, we uh, opened up a 100-seat banquet facility, which is next to the restaurant. Uh, since then, our catering business has gone through the roof. We thought we would do four caterings a month. Uh, our first year we did 192. Um, at that time we also had a restaurant in Dewey Humboldt, which was Blondie's Kitchen. And as leases came due, we thought we would try to move our way into the Prescott Valley area. At that time, Arturo's was moving into Prescott, and uh, so Arturo and I have been friends for a long time. We decided that I would lease out his building over there on Spouse, uh, Spouse and Robert. We took over that building in February, February 7th, and on March 1st, after a, a, a quick remodel, we, uh, we opened to the public and have been going strong there since. Any other questions? For Ms. Cabral, yeah, Cheryl. So how many actual uh, locations in Tim's are you working Every, everything that has to do with food and beverage and alcohol is our responsibility. So we have four built-ins. We have the upstairs suites. We have what you're sitting in now, the uh, Liberty Kia Lounge. Um, we have a little uh, employee meal area in the back to service all the employees that are working that night. Um, and then we're responsible for all the kiosk people that are uh, that in that are in amongst the the. Uh, in the corner. Anybody else? Yeah. You mentioned something about other vendors like Papa John's, and uh, so you're yes. going to be kind of managing those other vendors too, is that correct? As two weeks ago, Papa John's had come in and looking for an opportunity here, and as we were working in negotiations to take over here, I saw a great opportunity to bring in one of the name brands and pizza into the arena, which just makes sense when you're trying to do the best and be the best. Papa John's has a great name, and we know that. Um, so instead of trying to operate the pizza location in Tim's ourselves, we decided to farm it out. And uh, we hooked up with uh, Brian Hope, the owner of uh, Papa John's Pizza locally here. Um, and it was a great fit. High energy, uh, community oriented, and um, we've worked out a deal for him to be in there. And are there any other vendors then that you're bringing in, or is it just going to be you and Papa John's? It's going to be us featuring Papa John's, yes. Okay. How many people will you employ here? Uh, on any given night, 20 to 30. Hopefully 30. <laughs> 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 With good service, by the way. Excellent service. Uh, Chris, from the Arizona Sundog side, because we've talked about this too, obviously a primary tenant here, uh, what does it mean to the Arizona Sundogs organization to make this kind of a positive change? Biggest thing that's happened since I've been here. I've been here 15 months. Um, it's the number one headache that I've dealt with every single night since I've been here. It's the number one complaint we get. It's not there's not even a close second. And I know Jim understands business, which is why now I have no worries when it comes to food service. And obviously he's lowered the prices. Uh, he understands the value of what people are coming to the arena for, and he's not going to break your wallet. So uh, major relief for us. He's always taking care of us. He's always taking care of our players. And he does what he says he's going to do, and that's the biggest thing. Uh, his word is golden to me, and he knows that. So whatever he tells me he's going to do, he does. You know, and I know we have many, many wonderful corporate folks, but what does it mean to have a local guy? Uh, Jimmy, what does it mean to you? know? I and mean, when you came in here, and Gary, um, obviously the local person, community person, strong behind our young people, what does that mean? One of the things we've tried to do at Tim's in the couple of years that I've been here is when we've had a chance to change to local people, we have tried to use local companies for the things that we do. And of course, as we make things better, you know, we were in a pretty good hole a couple of years ago here at Tim's too, and we're, we're getting out of that quickly. Uh, Jim's going to help us do that. So things are very positive, 
and I do think it's important for this building, you know, it, we have to survive because when people are here, uh, more people are staying in the hotels, more people are eating in the restaurants, we know it helps us all. Pepsi uh, doesn't sell all their product here, but because of maybe doing a game, people are out in the stores buying Pepsi and things like that in the grocery stores and things besides our location here. So having, having Jim here is, is a local guy, being a supporter. Jim's put more money into the team, I think, so far than most people in the community. Uh, you're probably running over a couple hundred thousand dollars spent yourself personally uh, on investing in the team and all the tickets that he's had. So we really appreciate having him local. Our first night, we're going to have, uh, gee, I hear us backing up down there. Huh? <laughs> we're going to have uh, you know, our, our nice tailgate party like we do outside. We're going to have a band up here on the deck the first night. We're going to have this area upstairs open. This is going to open, uh, Scott, what did we say? I saw Scott walk through at about 4 o'clock. We're going to open upstairs here. And the band will be playing, and we will, you know, it's say quarter to 7 or something before the game. We'll ask folks that don't have tickets to go on downstairs. But we're going to have this uh, Kia Lounge open. He's going to have some good uh, finger-type foods, I'm, I'm sure, up here. It's happy hour time. It'll, so it's more like a happy hour. And myself, I did the same thing. Oh, I mean... I've been a ticket you know, holder ever since the beginning, but I'd go to one of the other restaurants before I came here and I'd eat, uh, maybe have a beer somewhere and then come over here because uh, everything, you know. So now we're hoping that some folks do come in here early, come on in and enjoy what we're doing and, and then in, enjoy a good game. Uh, we know it's minor league. I've never expected them to win every game, but I also want a good experience. So if I come in here and, I, and they lose, but it's been a great game, but I've maybe had a bad experience while I'm eating or drinking, that doesn't make me real happy. But if I have a good experience while I'm here and, hey, I saw a good game, I'm happy. So that's what we're hoping to do with the customer service. I think you're doing a – is there going to be a refillable price on the sodas? Uh, we're working on that. Currently we have the refillable for the uh, season ticket holder cup. Okay. So we do have a season ticket holder that uh, they, they get cups and they can refill them for a dollar. And, and, uh, but I see you're putting out a, like a large soda. Oh, it's a 32 ounce for uh, $3. And, you know, and we're doing the 16 ounce beers. That's not a 12 ounce beer. So, I mean, and I was looking at Jim's stuff he's doing for like well drinks. If a well drink is $4, but he's not really using well brands. He's not using the cheapest brand. He was using like a Smirnoff. So he took another tier stuff to use his well drink. So I'm just really happy with that. But some of the folks that are here that are their cooks and keep the food going, and they've been in there cleaning. And um, I'm, I'm impressed just with everything Gabby's has done to make this a cleaner, uh, better food, a better experience all around for the for our community here, which will definitely help with what we're doing with hockey. Jimmy, you didn't check with New York on that 32-ounce drink, did you? No, no, no. <laughs> That's a straight local price. Okay, okay. <laughs> Any other questions, Jim? Well, how long is it, is it for a year, and how many days would you be here? Besides games, would be here for concerts, too, and other, other activities? Currently, we're here. 16 to 18 hours a day as you can imagine what it's what the undertaking is in, in, in a takeover situation where that we're at with a building that's as big as it is and uh, with the small amount of staff that we have going into it we're here a lot right now um, we plan to be here a lot right now I have great management staff in my restaurants and they're doing an incredible job freeing me up to come here and, and do the changes we, we need to do as far as all the events we'll be here for every event that warrants food service too. Yes, sir. Anything else for Jimmy? Johnny? Anything? Billy? You guys are pretty happy about this, aren't you? Yeah. This is a big deal, folks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you, and these guys have explained it very nicely, but from a community standpoint, I will tell you, this This probably, Mr. Gary Spiker, is, is the biggest thing that I've heard in, in my seven years. So, uh, good stuff. Yeah, Chris? Drink lines, drink lines. Oh, yeah. Uh, we plan to streamline our li streamline our lines. I don't know if that's proper. Um, we'll have a line just for drinks that you can come up and just. That's all that person will be doing is servicing people with drinks. We'll have a debit card only line, um, so the rest will be cash and will be able to move on a quicker basis. I think that if we uh, delegate these out and segregate them into a certain area, that it will make the lines move quicker because that's what that person will be doing at the head of that line. Is this, for, is this for a year to this contract? How long is the contract for? 
uh, it's year to year. I do understand also that you've already, because I think you're already providing, because uh, I know you used to have like Italian night on Wednesdays here, but because of you've been serving meals to the team instead, how long have you been doing that? Serving t meals to the team? Yes. Seven years. Well, yeah. Okay. For training camp. I've been, okay. the, I've been the sole chef for training camp since the uh, inaugural season. Um, just not something that we ever talked about. Except for this year, it's a little more public because they've been eating in the restaurant. Yeah, because that's why, because I asked why I was found it no longer have because of the side dogs. That's why I kind of thought you would be the, you'd be chosen for some reason. Well, thank you. Um, I Jimmy, uh, obviously, <laughs> obviously, Gary has already mentioned that Kelly does most of the work. Uh, <laughs> but are you going to be, uh, you know, obviously, we're sneaking up. Opening night is this Friday. Are you, are you ready? Because you guys have been working night and day. You ready to go on opening night this Friday? We're ready to go as far as anyone can be ready to go. We, we are mom and pop, we are local, and there have been a lot of problems here, but we're realistic. We've, uh, we've implemented a lot of systems to change those problems, but what we have that we're proud of is, if there is a problem, we'll address it right then. We, we have the ability to fix the problems right when they happen. Uh, we're not a corporate owned store, um, the decisions don't have to come down from someone else. Our goal is to take care of the customers and take care of the problems that happen uh, on an individual basis so that we can uh, we can better the experience here. Jimmy, registers or no registers? The uh, question uh, is registers or no registers? Um, we're old school. Uh, we've pulled out all the computer systems downstairs and we've gone to the good old cash register. That's worked well for all of us in our businesses as in the past. There hasn't been enough time to implement a new computer kiosk uh, point of sale system. So uh, we're going to the good old sharp register and, and we'll punch it in manually until we can uh, have an opportunity to, to change those things. I think you can see what the amount is, but just close what, what the contract is for without not disclose. Yes, yeah, I mean, I, I still get a receipt so I know what's going on. No, is that what you're asking? No, 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 it's not asking. You say what the contract amount is for. My first two born children, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and his son now uh, has to come over and do cars for me on the weekend at home. Yeah, no, it's it, it's kind of based on uh, how well he does. It. I mean, it, it's based on what we sell. Cheryl, you had another question. I know, I know because you have done so much community service and given so much to the community, and definitely we definitely I know I've been able to eat some wondrous things that you've prepared, especially Thank you. with Bradshaw football, and I know what you did for them. Um, what I'm wondering is, is this giving you an opportunity to say, okay, this night uh, we can say, we're going to give part of the proceeds to something or other. I mean, I know it's a new venture, so it'd be awfully hard to do that. But We're not in that position right now. What it does is it gives me a bigger facility <coughs> to better our ability to still take care of the community. Um, as you know, I mean, if it's not the local football team, the band organization, um, you know, I do every single banquet for Bradshaw Mountain High School. Uh, for Chino Valley High School, we've just taken under our wing now. For the youth football, for Little League, um, I mean, the list goes on and on. With our facilities, it's been cramped. It's been hard because we have small restaurants. It just gives us a bigger opportunity to uh, to have a better facility to work out of for it. So that's going to help us. Any other questions? I know this has been a, this, these have been great questions. Anything else, Ken? No, just I'm trying to hear you mention about the tailgate parties. What day is that going to be? Uh, the tailgate parties are before each game, oh, and they're they start Friday. usually at uh, excuse me on Fridays and Saturdays, and they usually begin 3:30, 4 o'clock. And uh, but there is one, yes, this Friday that he'll set up at 3 30. That's where you have a band, and yes, we have a band. We have uh, Road, one Road One South, so Road One South will be here on the balcony starting 4 4 30 on Friday. Anything else? Because we've taken that. Thank you for all the great questions. Anything else before we go? Before we leave, Jimmy, any final Thank words? You, you know what? You. Uh, what intrigues me, and maybe you can one, one final comment. Because you are a true community builder, what I call a community builder. Why does this community mean so much? Why do you and Kelly and your family put so much into this community? Our 
kids. It's about kids. Everything that we do is about kids. It should be about all that all of us do. They are our future. They are why we're here. And they are why we undertake what we undertake every day for each and every one of us in our lives. For, for us, it's a pretty serious thing. I have five of them. And bringing them up in this community was a choice. Uh, it's a good community, it's growing, it's safe, there's good schools, and there's good entertainment. Taking on this facility meant making it more reasonable for other people to take care of their children and bring them out to events. And that's what we base our, our businesses on. Do you live in Prescott Valley? I do. All right, uh, we're going to close it off. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Cabral and Kelly. Kelly, stand up. Kelly, right here. Come on, stand up. Give them a, these guys are great.